Hey, what's up guys, Will's Garage here. Today we're gonna do an oil change on the E92 M3. Now of course, in order to do that, you're gonna have to raise the car and you can either do that by driving it up on ramps or jacking it up and putting it on jack stands. I recommend putting it on all four jack stands in order to have the oil drain out properly. And if you don't know how to do that, here's a link to another video I made on how to jack up a BMW. All right, so first thing you wanna do is to break open the oil drain plugs. Uh, the E92M3 not only has one oil drain plug, it has two oil drain plugs. Yes, you heard me right, there's two oil drain plugs. Here's the one in the front, and there's another one in the back. In order to open it, you will need a six millimeter hex wrench. I find it easier to use a hex socket and a 3 8 ratchet and when you open the drain plug it's better for you to open the one in the back first because if you open the one in the front you're going to deal with a stream of oil coming down which is going to get in the way of you gaining access to the one in the back next you're going to want to go into the engine bay and crack open the oil cap to let some air into the system to help the oil drain then we're going to move on to removing the plastic cap on top of the oil filter. All you have to do is grab on and pull it straight out. To remove the oil filter, you will need a 36 millimeter socket with an extension and 3 8 ratchet. But before starting, make sure you throw down some towels because when you open it, oil tends to seep out um, and you just want to release it slowly so that the oil doesn't spill out. Now the removal of the old oil filter can get a little messy. I like to take the box from the new oil filter and use that as a vessel to minimize the mess. Once you get the filter out, you'll notice that there's a lot of leftover oil inside the housing. Um, and a lot of people like to use a turkey baser to remove the oil, but what I found really useful is a giant syringe. And you can find these on eBay for like a dollar each. Once you're done draining out the old oil, it's time to put in the new oil filter. Uh, just give it a nice little press and it should pop right in. As for the cap, there are two rubber gaskets that you should replace. Um, these gaskets come with the oil filter kit. And you can remove the old ones by using a small screwdriver. Just pry it and lift it out. The little one here is always a little annoying to get out, but after a few tries, you should be able to pop it out with a small screwdriver. Clean up the crevices a little bit. And now we're ready to put on the new gaskets. Just make sure that you oil it up with new motor oil just to make sure that it forms a good seal. Here's the proper orientation of the larger gasket. And now we're ready to put the cap back on. Um, just make sure when you put the cap back on to hand tighten it first just to make sure it doesn't cross thread. And now you can torque the cap back on to 40 newton meters as it says in the oil cap. I personally find that 40 newton meters is kind of excessive uh, so I just hand tighten it uh, right about when it stops because the rubber gasket is what really does all the work. When putting the plastic cap back onto the oil filter, make sure you get the orientation right. Uh, there's an arrow that says sensor on it that points towards the sensor as you see here. And it should snap right back on. So 
So by now all the oil from the sump should be drained out and we're ready to put the drain plugs back on. But before doing so, make sure to grab the new copper washers from the oil filter kit. It should be two of them and this will ensure a proper seal. As for the drain plugs, you probably don't need to replace them, but if it does show any signs of wear, I do recommend replacing them um, because that will save a lot of headaches on removal for the next time. Reinstallation of the drain plug is just reverse of the removal. The torque spec for the drain plug is 25 Newton meters, which is 18 pound feet of torque. Here I just did it by feel with my hand because I've done it quite a few times, but if you're not sure, make sure you use a torque wrench. Alright, so now we're ready to put in the oil. The oil capacity for the V8 is 8.8 .8 liters. Um, since there's always a little bit remaining in the engine, uh, it's a good idea to just pour 8.5 first. Now, in most oil changes, this is the easiest part, but personally for me, this is the most like cumbersome and boring part because you gotta pour eight and a half of these bottles in the engine and I use 10W60, which is the BMW recommended oil for this car and it is extremely thick and takes forever to pour out of these bottles and they don't make them in gallon sized bottles. They're all by individual liters. All right, so we're gonna reset the oil service light. In order to do that, you're gonna hit the start stop button once without starting on the car. Actually, you can hit twice. All right, so then next, you're gonna wanna push and hold this button on the bottom left here. All right, now we're into the menu um, to reset the service lights and you can have the toggle switch over here that you can toggle and cycle through which uh, service that you want to reset in this case i want to reset the oil so once you get to the oil symbol you're going to want to push the bc button in and hold it that's your reset just keep holding it And there you go, that's it, it's reset. And with eight and a half liters in the engine, it should read halfway. All right, so that's it guys. Now you just gotta sit back and admire the mess that you made and unfortunately clean it up. But uh, all kidding aside, hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. See you guys in the next one.